Hey Simleys, it's Delicracy here with part 63 of Let's Play The Sims 4. Uh, basically, if you missed out in the last part, um, we're playing Trinity's Household uh, because basically if you've missed a few parts, I've kind of split up the family so we could get Taylor and the two boys in and you know what? <laughs> I, I I just think Carter's like really into Taylor. I think he just like really likes her. Um, but I wanted to kind of stir up the LP a little bit. Not too much, but it's pretty much been all hunky-dory until now. So I thought what I want to actually do in this part um, is let's say Taylor is like fed up with Carter because, you know, she's had kids with him and he still won't pop the question. So I feel like she's kind of thinking, oh, she wants some attention. So we might actually have a girl's night out and get her to hook up with someone else. Um, like cheat on him just before like he's about to propose to her because he's decided he wants to be with her. I mean, he's taking his sweet time. Uh, but so she's going to make the mistake of cheating on him and then regret it when he actually proposes to her afterwards. So that's the storyline I'm going with. And I know it's kind of sad and everything, but I think it's, I feel like a little drama. Oh, she loves her son. Oh, let's give him a hug. Oh, and actually, by the way, <laughs> I love this little family get together on the, on the street. Um, but also... There was a comment from Zene or Zen, I'm sorry, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name. Um, but she said she has a theory on why Branson and German are hot-headed and mean. Because in the last part I was like, what? German is mean and his brother is hot-headed. Those are the worst traits for kids. And I didn't actually pick those traits because they were born in another household. But she said that they're a little bit, like, their traits are a little bit negative because... Um, Carter wasn't there when they were growing up, so they, they have grown up, like, feeling a bit abandoned, and that's why they're like that. So I thought that was really good. Also, I'm sorry, Urgle Burgle, who requested that Carter gets another tattoo on his arm, the diamond one on his forearm. I really loved that idea, but, um, it actually takes away his existing tattoo, so unfortunately we can't have two arms, uh, two tattoos on the one arm, yep. Anyways, Taylor is running to hug her other son. She's actually turned out to be really, really good mum, despite her seeming like she's quite hot-headed. And oh, Trin and the oh, Trin's with her grandchild. I think Trinity's warmed up a little bit to Taylor now, and we've got uh, Xavier and Ashton's amazing household in the background there. <laughs> okay, let's just give him a little bit of a hug too. Hugs all round. Hugs all round. <laughs> oh, cute. That was a nice shot. Okay, Taylor, let's get you on the town. And we're actually going to go with Miles, I think. If he's available to go with us, we will go with Miles. Because she's already got a relationship with him. And I think it makes the... Oh, damn it. I can't actually get him to come with us. He must be in the area, but I'm just going to travel. Let's travel with Caitlin because Desiree's at work. So we'll travel with her, go out on the town, and hopefully um, hopefully he won't be in bed by the time we actually get there because uh, it's already in the green for her, so it will be an easier hookup. So they're, they're already close. They're already close. So it could easily go that way. And we know that Miles is a bit of a player. Remember how he played Liberty back in, uh, back in the day. So we, we know he's a bit of a skis sometimes, shall we say? I'm sorry to the simile who created Miles because you probably created him as this dreamy, wonderful guy. <laughs> but that's the fun of um, playing Sims. I mean, you come up with your own storylines with them. So so it's very interesting. Okay, 921. With a bit of luck, he'll still be able to join us. Um, but I will walk her in before we can call him, I think. Okay, invite to hang out at current lot. And, you know, girls night out with Caitlin. Caitlin's looking pretty, pretty rad. Everybody be dancing. He'll be right over. Awesome. We'll just have a bit of a bug with Caitlin. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> okay, let's um, give him a hug. 
but yeah, so she's feeling pretty imba abandoned at the moment. So um, she's wanting some attention. So she's going to try and find that attention with another guy, even if he's not the best guy for her. All right. We'll also get her maybe to have a drink or two uh, beforehand. Oh my god, what are you wearing? You need to be in like party wear. Yes. She has a really awesome red dress that I like her in. Oh my god, what is with him always being rude? This is how he was to. This is why we didn't like him and. Oh my god. Okay, let's just go straight for a flirt and see if see what happens. See if he takes it or not. Or how he takes it. Doesn't she look pretty in her outfit? Okay, so he he likes he likes a little bit of flirting. Bit of a pickup line. Maybe they had hooked up in the past back in school. See, he, he's a skis because he's rude to us, but then if we flirt with him, he likes us. So typical. Alright, let's go inside together now that they're heating up a little bit. We don't want to be out on the street, do we? So let's go here together. We'll uh, order drinks for group and we'll have... How about a zebra fizz for everyone? <gasps> Oh my god, it's Liberty in her Christmas wear. <laughs> she would be like, greasing miles off. Let's see if she is. Or is she playing it like, <laughs> I have a gorgeous son, a gorgeous husband, so I couldn't, couldn't care less about you. I'm sure she's thinking as well as Caitlyn, what's going on here with these two? Like, this doesn't look like it's a good thing. Okay, let's speed this up and get our drinks. He's got his drink. Excellent. Oh, she's feeling flirty. She's just going to go behind the bar. Oh my god, I thought she was going for his bum then. It looks like she's going to hit him on the bum. Caitlin's like, well, I'm not going to be around here if you're going to be like that, Taylor. You have a beautiful Carter at home. I'm seeing his sister. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> Let's see if we can maybe take him upstairs after we confess an attractive confess attraction to him. Liberty's trying to get in the middle, being like, don't. She's probably whispering to Taylor, don't go there. And she's like, eh, Liberty is fine. <laughs> oh, she's definitely trying to get his attention. Hey, and he's looking. He's like, hot damn, girl. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, try and get him away from the bar. Come on. Who's this guy? Oh, Malcolm Landgrab. She could go for the monies. Okay, that means we can then go upstairs. See, I created this nightclub for, for scandal, a bit of scandal to happen. So let's take it upstairs. Hopefully no one else joins us, by the way. Oh my god. <laughs> of course. In The Sims, there's always someone. Hey. Oh no, she brought up the wrong peoples. No, 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 we don't want you guys. Can we call him over? Oh, his sim is too far away, so typical. Call over. Oh, we're still too far away. Okay. Can we call him over now? Okay, we're just going to have to come out this way. I just want to get, get him away from everyone. 
Let's just let's go let's go back into flirting. It's getting late now. It's two in the morning. So if this is gonna happen, it has to happen. Embarrassed. Oh, he's a goofball. That's nice. Kiss hands. Hopefully that'll that'll it'll get him away from everyone else. This must be so awkward for Liberty. <laughs> It's so funny wearing Christmas clothes. She's up to a bit of mischief, is she? No! Miles! No! Come back. Group activities. Oh, no. Quickly. Before he leaves. Why does it only say group activities? I don't want to be in a group anymore. Oh my god, he just left. Oh well, and she's had enough, so maybe that didn't quite work out as we had, or as we were hoping. But there's always tomorrow, maybe it's something that she liked the attention, so she's going to follow that up tomorrow. She's still in a pretty good mood though, so I don't know, we could go visit. I wonder if we could just rock up on his doorstep. I don't know. Possibly? Can you do that in The Sims 4? Let's see, does it show who lives here? Okay, so he doesn't live there. I've actually forgotten where I put him to live. Uh, Nicholas Flamel. Oh, Nicholas Flamel. Oh, got Grandma Celine's house in the end. Oh, bless. <laughs> Oh, that's so sweet. Well, at least he did turn out getting something good. Uh, even if he didn't get liberty. Here we go. See if we knock if they'll let us in. Or maybe we can just go in because we have a decent relationship with him. Not sure. This is actually a house I built when I first got The Sims 4. It was one of my more initial builds or my first builds in the game and... Oh, perfection. Who's this? Allison. That's his mom. Heartfelt cop. We've just followed him home. Can anyone say a stalker? It's like, why are you following me? <laughs> nah, he, he, he's into it. He's definitely into it. Confess attraction. He's like, no, we cannot do this. Why? Why did he go there with us anymore? Oh my god, he just said this is over. I did not think that he would say no to us. Maybe if we offer a rose, maybe we went smooth. <laughs> he is pretty moody though. She's like, why are you making me do this? <laughs> oh my gosh. You know what? Fine. We come to your house and you don't even want us. Maybe if we put them in a happier mood, it'll be okay. Discuss interests. I don't know, he's self-assured. I mean, he, he seems like a really nice guy. <laughs> he really does. Compliment outfit. He'll like that. Tell engaging story. Come on, we just want to get this relationship up a little bit so we have more of a chance of us to move in. Well, that, that's a little bit forward, don't you think? Shababu. <laughs> Let's try kissing hands. I think this is too far. He's going to pull away. Hey, but he didn't. Confess attraction. Soup so. 
Well, this is kind of working out now. Pickup line. Let's embrace. This is so naughty. This is so bad. <gasps> this is so awful. Oh my god. First kiss. This is the affair, you guys. This is so bad. <gasps> Scandal. Oh my gosh. <laughs> As daylight breaks. Okay, let's go inside his house. Let's see if he actually does come inside. <laughs> she knocks on the invisible door. Okay, let's continue this and see if we can actually drive a baby. Gush about partner. Because if she has a baby and then she has to try and say it's actually Carter's. <gasps> Scandal! So basically Carter and Taylor's relationship is the only one that hasn't gone smoothly in the family so far. Um, so the rest of the family has been pretty good. But is he running away from her? <laughs> oh no, he's running to her. She's lured him in. Not just a sorba. <laughs> and she's busting. So they're not, I don't think they would actually try, try for a baby, but <laughs> by mistake, she might have a baby or fall oh, pregnant. Hey. Oh my gosh. So after a big, big night, this is what happens. Oh, oh dear. Someone's in the bed. Where are they going to woohoo then? Where will they go? Where are they going to woohoo? In the shower? Oh my god! Oh my god, <laughs> they're leaving for them! Are you serious? Surely, oh no. Are they... Where's he going now? What? He just left. Oh come on. We wanted to we wanted to try for this. Let's wake her up. Where on earth did he go? Is that Wait, is that him or is that his sister? Oh that's Liberty. Jay Huntington. It's just like everyone's doing push-ups around here. It's just what you do in The Sims 4. Just push ups every day. Oh well, you guys, well we were trying, uh, but he bailed on us. So I reckon, you know what? Maybe it's best if you guys can let me know in the comments what you think of this. If you think they should have a love child and then her try and keep it away from Carter. Anyway guys, I hope you have a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world, and I will speak to you soon.